Senator Klobuchar, you said this of Mayor Buttigieg, quote, of the women on the stage, do I think that we would be standing on that stage if we had the experience he had? No, I don't. Maybe we're held to a different standard. Senator, what did you mean by that? First of all, um, I've made very clear I think that Pete is qualified to be up on this stage, and I am honored to be standing next to him. But what I said was true. Women are held to a higher standard. Otherwise, we could play a game called Name Your Favorite Woman President, which we can't do because it has all been men, um, including all vice presidents being men. And I think any working woman out there, any woman that's at home, knows exactly what I mean. We have to work harder, and that's a fact. But I want to dispel one thing, because for so long, why has this been happening? I don't think you have to be the tallest person on this stage to be president. I don't think you have to be the skinniest person. I don't think you have the loudest voice on the stage. I don't think that means that you will be the one that should be president. I think what matters is if you're smart, if you're competent, and if you get things done. I am the one that has passed over 100 bills as the lead Democrat in that gridlock of Washington in Congress on this stage. I think you've got to win. And I am the one, Mr. Vice President, uh, that has been able to win every red and purple congressional district as the lead on a ticket every time. I govern both with my head and my heart. And if you think a woman can't beat Donald Trump, Nancy Pelosi does it every single day. <laughs>